Usually there's a particular experience or specific job which prompts an actor to walk away, and in the case of these 10 performers it was a specific TV show which made them realise it was time to leave. These actors have all renounced the prospect of a future in the industry to chase other pursuits, whether acting away from the screen or an entirely different career. And so with that in mind then, I'm Ellie with What Culture here with 10 TV shows that made actors quit the industry. Number 10. Two and a Half Men, Angus T. Jones Angus T. Jones made a name for himself playing Jake Harper on the mega-popular sitcom Two and a Half Men, resulting in him becoming the highest-paid child star in TV in 2010, where he commanded a princely $300,000 per episode. However, Jones decided to exit the show at the end of its 10th season in 2013, citing discomfort with the increasingly adult storylines he was being asked to perform and, in his own words, being part of something that was making light of topics in our world where there are real problems for a lot of people. Around this time, Jones became a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, whose belief system conflicted with his role on the show, causing him to make a damning statement about the series on social media in 2012, saying, If you watch Two and a Half Men, please stop watching. I'm on Two and a Half Men and I don't want to be on it. Please stop watching it. Please stop filling your head with filth. Jones later apologised to the show's cast and crew, though reiterated that he didn't regret what he said. Consequently, Jones was absent from Two and a Half Men's two final seasons, save for a cameo of appearance in the series finale. Though Jones initially didn't rule out other acting gigs, his only post-men credit is a single episode appearance on the comedy series Horace and Pete in 2016, after which he stopped acting and entered the multimedia and event production industry. Jones has spoken more fondly of Two and a Half Men in the years since, while also stepping back from organised religion, but it's also clear that his time on the show gave Jones as much of Hollywood as he could handle. Number 9. Gossip Girl, Taylor Momsen in terms of acting credits, Taylor Momsen is undoubtedly best known for her role as Jenny Humphrey in the CW's hit teen drama series Gossip Girl. As the seasons passed though, Momsen's appearances became increasingly sporadic until she outright departed the series midway through its fourth season in 2010. The very same year, she was publicly criticised by TV personality Tim Gunn, who shot a cameo in season four and called Momsen sad and pathetic for allegedly failing to remember her lines and being unprofessional on set. The next year, Momsen confirmed that she was quitting acting entirely in order to focus on her music career, and since has only acted once more, making a cameo appearance in Gossip Girl's 2012 series finale. Mumson's musical career as the frontwoman of the rock band The Pretty Reckless has since skyrocketed, with the outfit releasing their fourth album early last year. Mumson made it emphatically clear in a 2011 interview that she didn't have much continued interest in acting, instead choosing to channel her creative energies in a realm she finds more gratifying, saying, I quit Gossip Girl and now tour and I'm in a band and that's pretty much all I want to do. Hopefully I'll be able to only do that for the rest of my life. Number 8. Chappelle's Show, Dave Chappelle Love him or hate him, there's no denying that Dave Chappelle is one of the most popular and bankable comedians working today. Yet, Chappelle's career as an on-screen comedic actor ended overnight back in 2006. Chappelle was riding high off the success of his sketch comedy series Chappelle's Show, which ran from 2003 to 2006, when he abruptly quit midway through production of its third season. Over the course of the show's demanding production, sometimes requiring him to work 20-hour days, Chappelle suffered from burnout and felt frustrated at the series, preventing him from his primary passion, performing stand-up comedy. In the 16 years since, Chappelle has just a few scattered acting credits, namely in Spike Lee's Shy Rack and Bradley Cooper's A Star Is Born, and has trained his career focus back to stand-up comedy. In 2016, he signed a six special stand-up deal with Netflix, netting him a cool $20 million per special. Needless to say, Chappelle hasn't suffered from quitting movies and TV. He's doing just fine as a constantly in-demand stand-up performer both in person and on streaming. Number 7. Scandal, Portia de Rossi Portia de Rossi appeared in the 4th, 5th and 6th seasons of hit political thriller series Scandal, though made the decision to exit the show midway through season 6. While shooting the series, de Rossi realised that she had little interest in fighting for roles as a middle-aged woman in Hollywood, and so asked Scandal creator Shonda Rhimes to plot her exit. De Rossi said, I made this decision about 18 months ago. Shonda Rhimes wrote me off Scandal, it was fine. I was approaching 45, ageing out. I was just kind of wondering if there was something I could tackle now that I've never done before that would be really wonderful and different. I kind of knew what acting would look like for me for the next 10 or 20 years, so I decided to quit and start a business. De Rossi effectively retired in 2017 after leaving Scandal, and soon started an art curation and publishing company. Since then, she's acted only in 2018's fifth season of Arrested Development, citing the hit comedy series as the single exception to her retirement. 
Number 6. Top Gear, Matt LeBlanc Since Friends wrapped up in 2004, Matt LeBlanc has acted sporadically in several other TV shows, such as the failed spin-off Joey, the hit comedy Episodes, for which he won a Golden Globe in 2012, sitcom Man With A Plan, and a most unexpected stint as the co-host of Brit Auto Show Top Gear. As far back as 2017, LeBlanc stated his desire to retire from acting in the near future, and in 2019 decided to call it quits on Top Gear, citing the time commitment and extensive travel required to film the show, taking him away from his family and friends. Evidently, Top Gear made LeBlanc realise what he values most, as beyond finishing up the final season of Man With A Plan, he hasn't appeared on our screens in any narrative entertainment for over two years. Furthermore, LeBlanc has no projects currently in development, so while it's certainly possible we could see LeBlanc acting again in the future, without any outstanding commitments to ongoing shows, he seems to largely be sticking to his original intention to ease into retirement. Number 5. The West Wing, Melissa Fitzgerald now we have a case of an actor who didn't quit acting due to negative feelings associated with their work on a TV show. Quite the opposite, in fact. As an actor, Melissa Fitzgerald is best known for her role on The West Wing, where she played CJ Craig's assistant, Carol Fitzpatrick. Fitzgerald appeared in over 100 of the show's episodes, and her time pretending to work in the halls of Washington, D.C. evidently rubbed off on her, as Fitzgerald subsequently stepped away from acting to become a full-time political activist. Though Fitzgerald has been politically active for all of her adult life, in the years following the West Wing's conclusion, she found herself renouncing acting jobs in favour of activism work, leading to her becoming the senior director of the non-profit organisation Justice for Vets in 2013. Fitzgerald still holds the position almost a decade on, and beyond occasionally showing up at West Wing cast reunions, has largely left Hollywood behind. Number 4. Ed Ed and Eddie, Tony Sampson Though you might not recognise the name Tony Sampson, you'll likely know his voice, given that he voiced Eddie in the classic animated series Ed, Ed and Eddie. Sampson voiced Eddie for the entirety of the show's six-season run, and in a candid interview last year, revealed that he chose to exit the industry after the show's completion due to an incident where he was turned down for a salary raise. Sampson claims that he asked for a modest salary increase near the end of the show's run, only for the production company to threaten to blacklist him from the industry as a counter-offer. Infuriated, Sampson decided to to quit the voiceover business altogether, and now works as a heavy machine operator in the oil sands industry. Though he expressed no ill will towards Ed, Ed and Eddie creator Danny Antonucci, he clearly had little love left for the business as a whole, after receiving such an aggressive response to a reasonable request for more money. In the 14 years since the show ended, Samson has largely kept to his word, only lending his voice to two small roles in low-profile projects. Number 3. Sam and Cat, Jeanette McCurdy in the case of Jeanette McCurdy, her stint on iCarly spin-off Sam and Cat wasn't her final acting gig, but it is the one which caused her to realise she didn't care much for acting anymore, leading her to quit the industry a few years later in 2018. In an interview last year, McCurdy opened up about her time working on various Nickelodeon shows such as Sam and Cat, stating that she was effectively pushed into acting at a young age by her mother and always found it difficult. Her mother passed away in 2013, and Sam and Cat ended the next year, after which McCurdy only acted sporadically in small roles before finally leaving screen acting altogether. She said that her decision stemmed from an embarrassment over the bulk of her career, primarily working on Nickelodeon shows, the last of which was Sam and Cat. She said, My experience with acting is, I'm so ashamed of the parts I've done in the past. I resent my career in a lot of ways. I feel so unfulfilled by the roles that I played and felt like it was the most cheesy, embarrassing. I did the shows that I was on from like 13 to 21, and by 15, I was already embarrassed. My friends at 15, they're not like, Oh cool, you're on this Nickelodeon show. It was embarrassing, and I imagine there's a very different experience to be had with acting if you're proud of your roles and if you feel fulfilled by them. Since giving up TV and film work, McCurdy has instead written and directed short films and also performed a one-woman stage show about her mother, I'm Glad My Mum Died, which she also adapted into a memoir. Number 2. Game of Thrones, Jack Gleeson in his late teens, Jack Gleeson became an overnight acting sensation due to his superbly snivelling performance as Game of Thrones' thoroughly detestable Joffrey Baratheon. Even before his stint on the show ended in 2014, Gleeson expressed the desire to retire from screen acting once his work on Thrones was finished, and indeed, that's pretty much exactly what he did. Shortly after his run was over, he firmly stated that the success of working on Game of Thrones fundamentally changed his relationship with acting. He said, I've been acting since age 8. I just stopped enjoying it as much as I used to. And 
And now there's the prospect of doing it for a living, whereas up until now it was always something I did for recreation with my friends or in the summer for fun. I enjoyed it. When you make a living from something, it changes your relationship with it. It's not like I hate it, it's just not what I want to do. In the eight years since, Gleason has largely stuck to acting in comedy and theatre shows away from the screen, though did more recently appear in two episodes of the comedy series Out of Her Mind and will play a supporting part in the new Liam Neeson thriller in The Land of Saints and Sinners. Even so, it appears that Gleason remains more or less out of the Hollywood game, and thanks to his lucrative run on Game of Thrones, he evidently doesn't need to keep acting. Number 1. Grey's Anatomy – Ellen Pompeo while it's true to say that Ellen Pompeo is still working as an actress on the long-running medical drama Grey's Anatomy, she confirmed as far back as 2014 that she was likely done with acting outside of the show. More to the point, when Grey's Anatomy eventually comes to an end, it'll probably be the last we see of her on screen. Hilariously, series creator Shonda Rhimes has gone on the record to say that the show will end whenever Pompeo decides to walk away. And though it was recently renewed for a 19th season due to air later this year, that season could very well be the last. last Last year, Pompeo reiterated that she's mostly lost interest in acting and is far more excited by entrepreneurial pursuits these days. She said, I'm not super excited about my acting career. I have no desire to go and sit in trailers at 11 o'clock at night and wait to shoot scenes and have people knock on my door and tell me when I can eat lunch. It's for the young at heart. Given that Pompeo hasn't had a major acting role outside of the show since the 2005 dramedy movie Life of the Party, she's clearly and understandably milking the show for every last drop before departing the business for good. And that concludes our our list. If you think we missed any, then do let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there, and I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Little Child. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.